In this video, I'm going to demonstrate using end condition exceptions to create transitions between end conditions. Here in Roadway Designer, I have a very simple template, and I only have two template drops, and I will show the templates that are in both of those template drops. The first template drop is at station 10 plus 000. And I have one fill in condition. And you can see here that it is at a 50% slope. And I did that just by hovering over the line and it shows the slope there near the bottom at 50%. My second template drop is at station 10 plus 500. And if I take a look at that and hover over the component, you can see that this one is at 33.3% slope. So when I process my template, you can see here that at station 10, the slope is 50% and it remains 50% all the way up until station 10 plus 490. It's still 50% here. And then there's going to be an abrupt change here at station 10 plus 500, which is 33.3%. So what I want to actually happen is to create a transition between the slopes and as you can see, I'm not using the enable transition here, which would apply to the backbone. What I'm going to do instead is go in to corridor in condition exceptions, and I'm going to create a transition on the left side. So we know that our second template drop is at 10 plus 500. And then our first template drop was at 10 plus 000. So let's start our transition at 10 plus 300. So in this station range, you should start to see a gradual transition from the 50% slope to the 33% slope. I'll go ahead and give this a description and I will toggle on left transition and click add. I then need to go in and take a look at this transition. So I'll click the edit button. This brings up the edit transition dialog. So I'll click OK. We're given a reminder here that says, in order for the transition to work properly, the appropriate constraints on points that are transitioning must be removed. So I'll click OK again. So this shows our end condition here, and you can see that the constraints on the point that need to be moved have already been removed. You can tell that because it's green in color. And you can actually use this slider here to test what it's going to look like throughout the transition. So it starts here at 50% and as we move along the transition you can see the slope changing to the 33.3%. So from here I can tell that it looks like it's going to work properly so I'll click OK. Make sure we have that checked on enabled so I can click close and I'll process all and we'll just start back at the beginning here and you can see that we have a slope of 50% at 10 plus 00 and then beginning at station 10 plus 300 we should start to see that transition so here we are still at 50% and as you move along in stationing, you'll start to see that slope decrease. And we'll go a little bit further. We're getting a little bit closer to the 33.3%. And then once we get up to 10 plus 500, we're back to the slope defined in that second template drop, which was 33.3%.